I feel that being a resident senior is more than just a title itself because you have to put yourself in the shoes of others. I think I have three words to summarise my whole PSR experience, which is empowerment, inspiration and learning. I think I was definitely nervous before meeting my apartment mates because I've never lived with other people before. I'm just very happy to have met new friends that I know I can keep in touch with. It is only when I chose to stay here and take up the role as a resident senior as well as the role of the project leader and that is when I learned that it is not easy to be a leader. So the project that I'm currently doing now is Women Empowerment. It's basically to help disadvantaged and minority women build sustainable business. These women actually have a lot of talents, like the one I'm actually helping with. She's very talented in making terrariums. But the problem is that she do not know how to make it a business. We are here to find a value proposition and a unique selling point and build a business portfolio for her. From there on, we hope that they can independently build their own business and also sustain themselves for the future. The day when I went to Miss Sima house, and I saw how much love she had for her children, but yet she's trying her best to survive every day, making sure that she gives the best to her children. So I felt that if I can use my business knowledge from classroom, right, to help impact someone's life and eventually impact her children's life and the future, why not? So recently I actually presented to President Halima Yaakob. What I did was I managed to work with SMU Patron Day and we set up a booth there to share about her story. So on that day, we managed to gather a lot of supporters and we actually sold out all the terrariums. Na means I. Ah. Na means I. Yeah. In Hindi, na means no. Oh, really? <laughs> nah. Our apartment is very unique because we have girls from six different countries. Singapore, India, China, Thailand, Korea and Kazakhstan. On some days, you come back and you're really very, very stressed. You know that you can knock on the door next to you and talk to your neighbour or you can be studying in this common area and there'll be someone talking to you while they're cooking. So it really makes university a less lonely experience because there are all times where we feel very down and there's no one to turn to. I still get my personal space, but I get to interact with other girls and this is a very nice balance, a very nice mix that I like. Sometimes we'll just be cooking together and we'll just burst into spontaneous karaoke sessions. I think that takes a lot of chemistry for that to happen. It's always very interesting to learn about their cultures. There are things that I've always read about in the news and I never imagined hearing it personally from a friend. Currently, I'm the resident senior in Prince Lab Street Residences. I'm also the leader of Project SSUD, which stands for Stop Single Use Disposables. We are the first batch that is carrying out this project, so we don't really have any of the previous frameworks or anything to work on. To many, recycling is a very dry, very boring thing to do. And that is why we introduced a recycling competition in which we add some of the fun elements into recycling. It's a very international group to work with. And of course there are challenges. Before staying in Princess Street Residences, I didn't really have much of a leadership experience. I feel that I'm too nice of a person. I don't really have the control power. But I feel that since I'm in university now, I should really step out of my comfort zone so along the way, I also realised the importance of having good relationship with the group mates. It is not all about being dominant to be a good leader. It is more about understanding your group mates, understanding who you are working with. So this is our Printab Academic End of Year event. It's been very tiring for us to plan for this event. However, it is worth it to be able to see the smiles on our residents' faces. As a resident senior, you are supposed to take care of the well-being of the residents. I actually took the liberty to actually go and talk to them to understand what are their concerns. From the small issue of cleanliness, it can escalate to things where next time, for example, if you're going to work, you are unable to communicate with your colleagues when you're working on a project. This is very important to know what each other are doing, to understand better and ultimately to be able to help out. I think the rewarding moments for myself in Prince Ed is whenever we have a successful event held. My first event as a resident senior that I did was while cycling. We actually ventured out to Pulau Bin. It was a very successful event. And it's very difficult because personally I do not have much experience hanging out with people who are of different nationalities. So I think that being a resident senior, it really opened up my eyes to be able to 
know more about the different cultures. It is a nice feeling to know that all your hard work that you took you know, months to plan or that actually paid off when you get to see the residents participate in those events and they actually enjoy it. I think the phrase sister from another mister is very apt because we've gone through a fair bit. If you see each other every day, definitely you know that you can count on these friends. It's not just about the outcome that we get from the project. It is to see how my group mates from initially we don't know each other at all until now we are actually very close friends. We'll meet for lunch, we'll meet to study. The bond that we forged throughout this entire journey that is very rewarding to me. I'm able to be a stronger person throughout this experience. I want to build SMU to be this community that we can contribute to the society. Not just studying and not just being in our own world, but we can actually do something for the society. Yeah.